Welcome to the world of Artlantis. To start, please take a look at these beautiful renderings created by users and uploaded to the Artlantis Gallery. Artlantis is a unique software application ideal for quickly and easily creating high-resolution 3D images, QuickTime VR panoramas, QuickTime VR objects, and animations. A recognized leader in preview window technology, Artlantis is the rendering software used by architects, designers, and urban design professionals in more than 80 countries. Since its first release, Artlantis developers have had three main goals. To offer a solution that is capable of the best rendering possible, computed in record time, and all this with an interface that can be used by anyone, professionals and non-professionals alike. The success of Artlantis confirms these efforts. It has become one of the favorite rendering applications of architects and designers all over the world thanks to its ease of use and intuitive features. Artlantis is a product line composed of three solutions. The first one is Artlantis Render, with which you can create still image renderings. Artlantis Studio enhances your design capabilities by creating QuickTime VR panoramas, VR objects, and animations. These two applications are completed with themed collections of materials, parametric textures, and objects available on CDs or online. These library parts are known as Artlantis Media. As a standalone rendering application, Artlantis interfaces directly with Vectorworks, SketchUp, ARCHICAD, and Bonsai 3D. With the additional import formats such as DWF, OBJ, FBX, together with the well-known DXF, DWG, and 3DS plugins, Artlantis seamlessly interacts with all the leading CAD software on the market. Now it's time to switch to Artlantis and reveal its interface. The main feature of Artlantis is the real-time preview window. Most of the work is done directly in this preview. Here you can set camera positions, apply shaders, and manage objects. This preview window is now displayed in ray tracing, and we will activate the full radiosity mode to see a very complex lighting model right in the preview. The excellent quality of this preview is very reliable and is similar to the final rendering. Here is the same camera view rendered as a JPEG image, just to show you how consistent it is with the preview. This great quality offers you a solid feedback of your future rendering, saving you a lot of time during your work. Setting materials and textures is an important part of the job when developing presentations. In Artlantis, there's nothing simpler than changing the finish of surfaces. First, we need to choose a shader from the Artlantis catalog, drag it into the preview, and drop it over the selected surface. Artlantis will detect the surface for us and highlight the changes instantly. The settings will appear in the inspector, and we can continue to modify it by resizing the tiles, changing the reflection, bump, or normal sliders. If we decide to change a shader, we return to the catalog to grab a new material, which will be applied with the same drag and drop. With Artlantis, we can easily create an environment for our building. Light being essential to most of the scenes, we will start by setting the sun, or heliodon, as we call it in Artlantis. The drawer stores more suns, which can be made active separately to one of the camera views. With the plus sign, a new heliodon item has been added to the list, and as soon as it is assigned active to the present camera, the changes will be instantly highlighted by the preview. The Heliodon can have three different types. This one is set based on an exact geographical location, so we can choose a city where the project will be situated, choose the right time of the year and day, and set the north in the 2D window to simulate a precise sun study for the future building.
We can continue by adjusting the sun's intensity, smoothing the shadows, and activating the cloud editor to generate a 360 degree sky dome. The four cloud types can be easily mixed, recalculated. The clouds hide sun option will produce an even more realistic effect by filtering the direct light from the scene. The environment also includes plants, and so now we will switch to a new chapter, that of 3D objects and billboards. An object can be added with the same drag and drop into the preview. Their anchor point detects the surface automatically, and as soon as they are placed, the inspector will highlight their settings. Plants can react to and behave differently in each season, or they can be simple billboards facing the camera. Both can be set transparently as well to suggest only a light illusion about the environment. Anything can be converted into a 3D object in Atlantis. They can be people, cars for exterior scenes, or different pieces of furniture for interior scenes. They can store light sources as well, such as this lamp for example. As soon as it is placed into the scene, the light begins to light up the room. However, it isn't visible. We should then change the time of day, and as the sun loses power, the interior light will become more and more bright. This is the automatic light adjustment capacity of Atlantis, able to balance correctly the intensity and tone of the light sources present in a scene. Atlantis has its own layer structure to organize objects. Each layer can be set active or can be hidden separately for each camera, and this can be explored for various purposes. In our case, we can hide the actual furnishing and switch to another one stored by a different layer. As a consequence, layers behave as an independent parameter to cameras. Each camera can have its own focal, depth of field, activated light sources, layers, or backgrounds. All this allows us to prepare multiple presentations stored in the same file. In addition to the perspective images, we can also create parallel views with Atlantis. They can be facades, plan views, or even sections. By activating the clipping box, we can generate any type of section that will be visible only for the selected camera. A particularity of parallel views is the possibility to render them at a precise scale. So far we reviewed how to generate still images and now we continue with motion presentations features belonging to Atlantis Studio. VR panoramas are part of it and they are an excellent tool for presenting interiors. The camera turns all around a point generating 360 degree views of this room, for example. The next presentation type is the VR object, which works the other way around. In this case, the camera moves on a giant sphere and looks at the model placed in the middle of this sphere. It's great to present volumes. We can also adjust the number of frames to achieve smoother navigation. Working in Atlantis, the result of settings can be reviewed directly in the real-time preview window. Animations are the third type of motion presentation in Atlantis. You can create paths or actions in time to many, many things cameras, lights, shaders, clouds, sun, backgrounds, post-process features, etc. To conclude, please watch this animation 
An excellent example of a sun study of a full day. It explores the automatic light adjustment capacity of Atlantis as well as the water and cloud animation. We kindly invite you to visit the Atlantis galleries where you can see more examples of still image renderings and animations created by our users. Learn more about Atlantis at www.artlantis.com.